Well, hello everybody, Tindobi Rego here, games, movies, and vlogs. How the hell is everybody today? Now, for my next video here, I found this really amazing article. And yes, it came out September 6th here, um, about a week and a half or so ago. And I'm sorry, but uh, doing other videos have gotten in the way, and now I finally have the chance to discuss this. So I apologize for how late me talking about this is, but anyway. Now, this is a screenshot that I took off my phone when I first got, when the article first popped up on the 6th of this month here. So, look at this. Director Ridley Scott confirms a new Alien film is in the works. Now, that's awesome. I mean, seriously, I'm a huge Alien fan. I have all of Aliens. I have all the films of Alien, sorry. And also Predator, you know, because... And the reason why I say that is because... Well, you'll hear why in a little bit, why I'm including Predator and the two crossover films in this video. So yeah, uh, one as cool as this is, the interesting thing about this article is look under the title, Don't Expect a Return to the World of Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Hmm, think about that for a second. Don't expect a return to the world of Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Now, why is that? I mean... There's only four story angles throughout all of Alien where you wouldn't expect to return to the prequels. The first one being at the end of, or not the end really, but in the middle of the first Alien vs. Predator movie where it talks about how Predators and Xenomorphs were at war thousands of years ago. Uh, during the Mayan days or the Aztec days or whenever that pyramid was built in the Ridley Scott can do a movie in the style of that Mel Gibson movie Apocalypto which took place during the same time period so you can so Ridley Scott can do a whole movie based on that which would be awesome the other story angle that Ridley Scott can do is based off of the ending to Aliens vs Predator Requiem where the government agents find Wolf Predator's gun, or they take possession of Wolf of Wolf's um, plasma pistol that he made. And the woman standing in front of the window at the end, the guy addresses him as Miss Yutani. So think about that for a second, Miss Yutani. Everybody knows that the company name from Aliens is Wayland Yutani. So at so in the first Alien vs. Predator movie, it was all about the Wayland Corporation, and then at the end of AVP Requiem, you have Miss Yutani. So think about all that for a second. So Ridley Scott can basically do a whole movie about the Yutani Corporation having trouble with the Xenomorphs. Easily. They did it with the Wayland Corporation, they can easily do it with the Yutani Corporation, and then just like it says in Aliens, Waylon Dutani. Like you can do a Mr. Scott can do a whole thing based on that. The third story angle that I can possibly think of is the destruction of the colony before the Colonial Marines arrive in Aliens, because we all know that that family at the beginning of Aliens found the engineer ship and then come back with a face hugger attached to the father's face. And then the Colonial Marines arrive, and the entire colony is wrecked, everyone's dead. So Ridley Scott can do a whole movie showing how the colony got destroyed. And then the fourth story angle that I can possibly see is something taking place after Alien Resurrection. Somehow. I mean, other than those four, I can't see anything that really Scott can do if not returning to the world of Prometheus and Alien Covenant. So I so all you viewers out there, please comment down below if you agree with my four story angles and say why. Or please give this video a thumbs up like for a like please give this video a like if you agree that Ridley Scott should change his mind and just do the third and final prequel movie to the first Alien. Because when Prometheus came out, it was announced that Ridley Scott was going to make a prequel trilogy to the original Alien. 
So with Ridley Scott saying don't expect a return to the world of the first two prequels, other than my four story angles that I mentioned, I don't know what else he can possibly do. So yeah, um, comment below if you agree with the, my four story angles, or please give this a like if you think that Ridley Scott should just do the third prequel after Alien Covenant, leading into the events of Alien and bring everything full circle. So everything makes sense. You know, I, I'm sorry I said that twice. But also, if Ridley Scott does find something else, if he finds another angle somewhere within the whole aspect of the entire cinematic universe of Alien and Predator, um, if he finds something, you know, I'm very curious to see what he comes up with, because Ridley Scott, he's a great, he's a really great director. He is. I've seen him, he's done Prometheus Alien Covenant and the very first Alien, you know, and he also did um, that other movie, Exodus, Gods and Kings, which is basically a live action version of Prince of Egypt. So yeah, Ridley Scott, he knows his shit, he knows how to make a great movie, so if whatever he finds... I'm really, I'm really hoping to see what he does. I'm really hyped for this. I love this news. You know, like I said, I'm a huge alien nut, or alien fan, sorry. I got all the films, so yeah, um, please like and subscribe. I know this video is short, but this is all we have so far is just this one article here. So if I can find the article here, um, I will put a link to it in the description below so all y'all can read it. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to get this out there because I think it's awesome that there's a new Alien movie coming out. And I hope Ridley Scott directs it, or at least is the producer on it. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see how this movie pans out. And also, I will do news about this whenever um, trailers come out. I will do breakdowns of this using screenshots I will yeah I will do uh, breakdowns of it or whatever so I will try my hardest to stay up to date with this the mo progress of this movie and see how everything goes all right so this is uh, Tim W. Rago and I'm gonna say peace out everybody and uh, see you all in the next video that I do